We're not doing fantastically well on the uh, satellites. Uh, we've only got 14 satellites, which is a bit of a worry. And on that last trip I did, uh, went into Addy mode just for a second. So, <coughs> she's a big ship. So what we'll do is we'll come around and uh, we'll just check it out. Built in 2002. sure where it's heading to. This wasn't the ship I came out here to uh, capture but uh, even still isn't that beautiful. It's got Melbourne in the background there. Uh, we'll just pitch that camera down. We'll just get a shot there. I'll just make sure that comes around. Uh, what have we got? Here we are. How about that? Uh, we'll just focus on there. And... Here it is. Isn't that beautiful? Uh, just uh, correct the angle of approach there. And... Um, what we'll do is we'll just slow it down a bit there and um, <coughs> gee there's a few containers on there there's some reefers on there too and uh, that's just magnificent with Melbourne in the background there it's a beautiful day it's about a about a four kilometre breeze just come down and uh, check out the bridge there and look at that there's a few seagulls following it in there just hope I don't get hit by one of them. That's the bridge and the cruise quarters. And um, we're just letting that slip by. And we'll check the port of origin on the stern there. Pretty well loaded. It's not fully loaded, but she's uh, we'll just come around to the stern there and uh, check it out. Uh, Look at that. It's an Italian port, Valletta. And uh, here we are, isn't it beautiful with the sun? Got the sun in it. So we'll just um, just get that long shot there with the uh, with the camera bring that over that's it get that one and another 
That's it. Yeah, we'll just come up. Have another look at the stern there. Isn't that magnificent? Not where she's not not sure where she's off to today, but um, it certainly um, <coughs> certainly travelling, it's doing about um, it's not going overly fast, about 13 kilometres an hour. So we'll just take it up a fraction and um, get an overhead shot there. Just pitch that camera down a fraction there and just move in on it. Oh look, you can see the length of it there, can't you? And so Just pitch that up a bit. Whoa, look at that. She's actually turning, so I'm having to follow it as it's turning. Um, I'm just going a bit of altitude there and I'll have a look at those colours. There it is. Maximum flight altitude. And so that's it, look at that. And so we'll just go over the top there. Just check it out. Look at that. And what we'll do is we'll we'll just come out on the starboard side. And um, We'll come out on the starboard side there. And um, get that long shot. that camera up a fraction. A little bit low there. And just get that shot. We can find the shutter button. That's there. Lovely. Well, I think we might uh, We might just leave that one before we uh, just lose sight of it. Push that camera back up, like so. Oh, look at that, there's Melbourne there. And we'll just let that go. That's a big ship. That is a big ship. Yep. That's a big ship. Just want one more view from the stern. A 
Look at that. Get that shot. Lovely. Alright, well that concludes our flight. And uh, before we lose sight of the drone, we'll head back. Alright then. G'day guys, Tony here from the Port of Melbourne. Well, we just chased out the uh, container ship performance. And uh, it was a beautiful ship. The sun was out. There's a light breeze. Four kilometres. And uh, I hope you like the... Uh, all those colours on the ship there, the containers. I noticed it had a few reefers on board. And... Um, it's quietening down here now, it's sort of mid-afternoon. A lot of cars around, but not many people. And uh, yeah, so that was good. I enjoyed that. And from Tony and from myself and Pam, uh, we'll catch you later. Give us a like. See ya.